Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Plant-Based Cooking by Wannabe Chef. I'm Chef Anita. I wanna show you some tips on how to stay healthy. And I don't know if you saw my cooking classes recently. I am focusing on how I lost 25 pounds. So it has taken me a good seven, eight months and I'm still on my journey. But I like to share what I have been doing and my tips on good health and healthy eating. So it's not all about losing weight, but it's really about eating healthy and a good lifestyle. So today I'm gonna share some of my weaknesses have been snacks. What should I snack on? So really I have here three different snacks, which I'm gonna show you what I have on this plate. Turn my camera down and I will go through it one by one. And my snacks are all plant-based and they're all vegan here. So I'm gonna first show you my dehydrated fruits. These are yummy. Uh, this is dehydrated pineapple and apple. This is the apples, these are the pineapples, and these are some dehydrated orange mandarins. So what I do is these have been, I do it in a dehydrator. They could be done also in an oven. And these are seasoned and spiced. So on the day when I'm looking for something a little spicy because I have a spicy palate, I reach out for one of these. These are a great afternoon snack. These are a good pick me up in the mid afternoon when I just don't know what to eat before dinner. And because it's fruit, I don't feel so guilty. I'm not eating anything that's got any preservatives. And because it's dehydrated, it really sits well outside. You don't even have to refrigerate it. So one of this is a yummy dehydrated pineapple with Indian spices because I like my food spicy. Mm, it has a little bit of sourness to it, but it is truly yummy. Now this is the same fruit. Usually I like this during my breakfast or I cut it up and put it into my yogurt. This is plain. This is not spice. This is also again pineapple, oranges. Now I had some strawberries which are done. Sorry, I can't show that to you, but those dehydrate really well. And you could also do this in your oven. You can take a class with me on how to do your favorite snacks. Now this is an Indian snack called Chivra, which I made at home. And this is like almost like a trail mix, but a little different because it is made from, there's some puffed rice and there's some pressed rice and I have a few, very few raisins, black raisins. I have some lentils. I have some peanuts and I have some curry leaves. So all this was made, nothing of this is fried. I have a few cashews and none of this is fried. It is very low in fat or in oils. It's actually stuff that's really good for you. So this is a great pick me up when I want something nice and light. I, I tend to get, get this mid afternoon slump where I'm looking to kind of munch on something. So a couple of spoons of this keeps me going. I really like that taste, you know, because I can't eat something that has no taste. So I, I do love this for my afternoon snacks. And then of course is the air pop popcorn. And what I do is I give it a little sprinkle of my favorite seasoning, which is truffle powder. So I do it very plain with no oil or butter, but a little bit of truffle seasoning on it goes a long way. And you have this yummy, I, I first make it just air popped and I make it right on my stove top. And then I add the truffle seasoning. So again, air pop popcorn without any fat, any butter, any cheese is just with some truffle seasoning is great. So here we have some air pop. So these are just, I should say, three of my favorite snacks when I'm feeling like, oh, I need something to eat or I haven't you know, eaten a big lunch some days or just to, just to keep me going till my next meal, I will grab a little bit of this and it really helps because sometimes I avoid too many nuts. I love nuts, but because of the high fat, I will eat like sometimes just five almonds at a time, but you can't eat too much of that because of the high fat content. So 
I do feel that snacks that can keep you moving forward help in the weight loss journey. And they gotta be healthy, they gotta be without any sugar. And if there is sugar and it's in, in the fruit, like the dehydrated fruit, yes, has sugar, but it's the fruit sugar itself. I did not add any sugar to any of these. It's really fine to go that route. So I wanted to show you and share with you some of my snacks to take classes and to learn more about how to make things like um, a few snacks like these and many more that I will share with you another time. You can sign up on our uh, website at wannabechef.com. Follow us on our, on our YouTube channel, Plant Based um, Cooking by Wannabe Chef. Enjoy and live healthy because uh, it's not about weighing less. It's all about eating healthy and eating right. And if you make it a lifestyle, it's so easy. So making easy ways to eat healthy can make it a lifestyle so that you can enjoy the process. It's not about being miserable. It's not about denying yourself of food because it's not sustainable. So really enjoying what you're doing is most important. And uh, I'd love to share more tips. So follow us on our YouTube channel so that you can catch up and see more tips each week. Mm -hmm.